What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall rewards for this week on all three of my characters. So before we get into my rewards, as you can tell by the title, I'm also going to show you guys some of the new stuff that came out with the newest patch 1.2 that was implemented earlier today. So with that patch came some cool new stuff and uh, basically if you guys checked out the tower, Pet Revenge is back there and the Queen's Wrath is back. It's been a long time. I believe that was like around October of last year, 2014, uh, since we've seen Queen's Wrath. But basically, she's back for this week, and we can preview some of the new bounties that she has uh, going into next week when House of Wolves finally comes out. So I'm going to show you guys a clip of uh, some of the cool new additions um, that came out with this patch. So basically, if you go to the tower and pick up one of her bounties, she has all these wanted bounties. Uh, where you have to hunt down these certain uh, majors of from the House of Wolves and uh, basically take them out and after that you can receive a key that allows you to open a chest and get some cool new rewards and some of the rewards consist of things like uh, the treasure key which is what you can use to gain rewards um, at the end of completing a Prison of Elders run so that's pretty cool uh, you also can get some legendary engrams some uh, synthesis and also some um, spin metals or planetary materials whatever planet you're doing it on uh, so it's pretty cool and also when you do these event type activities uh, you can also try out the scorch cannon as you can see um, so we have like early access to using that and trying it out officially uh, for all of us so that's pretty cool and uh, it's pretty fun you can use this and farm it over and over there's no limitations on it try to get those treasure keys so you can gain a advantage or um, I guess yeah an advantage on people and have more uh, opportunities to get more rewards uh, once House of Wolves finally comes out so that's pretty cool so these events are pretty similar to like the Blades of Crota events that uh, they implemented right before Dark Below DLC came out and uh, basically you can see these House of Wolves guys on patrols on Venus and Earth and the Moon so those three locations, you can see these happen every so often. And uh, basically, it's better than Blades of Crota because at the end you can get some cool rewards. And uh, you can even farm the rewards multiple times in a single run. So that's pretty cool. Um, all you need to do to do that is you just have to uh, leave the area. As long as you leave the area and then come back into the area, you can grab the chest one more time or two more times or as many times as you can do that within the time limit you have about a one minute 30 second interval um, or time period that you're allowed to gain access to this chest and uh, once that time runs out you can't get the chest anymore so um, you see me right here we just beat the target that was wanted on the bounty um, you don't even need the bounty to complete these you can do this and farm it as much as you want uh, but basically I found the chest and I got a legendary engram so that was pretty cool. You can get some cool stuff out of it too. Um, but I got a legendary engram and then I'm leaving the area. So as long as you see this um, area up here, so like lunar complex. When I saw lunar complex up here, that means I left the area and I can come back into the sky watch. And now I can grab the chest another time. So um, you can do it as many times as long as your minute 30 doesn't run out. And you can just keep running back and forth or just driving back and forth with your sparrow and uh, trying to farm some rewards out of these chests with the ether key so that's pretty cool so that's one cool thing that came out of the um, new patch today uh, with these um, events kind of thing that happened in the patrols so that's one of the main things I want to show you guys that came out of the new patch uh, 1.2 uh, today so going back into my nightfall rewards for the first character on my hunter I end up getting a Plan C exotic fusion rifle and my buddy picks up a Prudence 2 sniper rifle so not bad rewards there um, Plan C even though I have it I always can use the exotic shards as I can use them to ascend my exotics going into House of Wolves into next week so that's pretty cool and then going into my second character on my Titan I end up getting just a legendary scout rifle called the Calling and my buddy picks up a Galahorn, so that was pretty cool, pretty amazing. I haven't seen a Galahorn drop in a while in any of my Nightfalls recently. 
Um, so that was good for him, and my other friend gets an unwilling soul, so that was pretty unlucky for me. And my other friend, we get some pretty crappy uh, legendary weapons, but my friend gets a Gallahorn, and that's always cool uh, to see Gallahorn drops for the Nightfall. And then finally, on my last character, on my Warlock, I end up getting, once again, a Plan C. So I got two Plan Cs this week. And that calling scar rifle, and then my friend picks up ten strange coins. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Not bad of a week for nightfalls. I got two exotics. That's always good. My friend gets a galhorn. That was pretty cool too. And yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.